what's up guys welcome to another interesting video in today's video i want to talk about a google document that i recently came across that is titled how fx code ripped me off this should be an interesting one before i go any further please do smash the like button for the youtube algorithm leave your comments in the comment section and if you're new here please do smash that subscribe button now before i go any further i would like to preface this video by saying the videos that we've made in the past about fx code has always garnered a matured response from them when i made the video about the website that was made in the image few hours after the video was put online that website actually got taken down and there was other things that we spoke about um fx code as well that um it seems like they took accountability for there's just one thing and i hope they do go back to go and fix that thing because like i keep on telling um a jaguar that's something that you guys don't know me and jaguar like say a few weeks ago we, we, we kind of spoke really openly and i told him listen fx code is one of the leaders so if you guys are gonna do things always make sure it's to the benefit of those that's supporting you so i'm pretty sure that after seeing this and reading this with me because they are supporters of this channel um i'm pretty sure that they will go back and they will fix this however we have to go through this so let's jump right in this guy starts by saying there is a lot i have to say about the fix code but i will keep this short and straight to the point I first joined FX Code and the $18 mentorship back in 2021. It was close to the end of the year and I was looking for a community where I can share ideas with other traders. Most of you probably have experienced this when you're in a group with other traders and you share ideas. You're always motivated to trade even if you make some losses here and there. That is why I joined FX Code. After the first month of joining, we were informed that on December 2021, we will not be charged the $18 subscription since they would not be hosting any zoom sessions everyone was thankful and glad that they won't have to pay on december 2021 when december came our accounts were charged and we paid the 18 dollars things went silent about what was going on they informed us that they noticed the payments happened and that they couldn't do anything about it i believed this since they used a third party to handle payments i found it suspicious that they could prevent our accounts from being charged but couldn't pay back the 18 dollars to the people that were charged some might say oh it's just 18 dollars what's the big issue you have to remember that it's not just one 18 dollars it's 18 dollars from about 500 people who were in the server at that time that's about 135,000 rand taken. When FX Code announced that they were opening up a broker, they promised that they will fund everyone who was charged on December 2021. All you had to do was sign up with their broker and get verified. Then once verified, you had to send proof to the support team that you had been charged on December 2021. This is where this person feel. This is a big red flag. I was happy thinking that I will get back my $18 they took, but that was was not the case i did everything required but i never got funded i contacted them sometime around 25 january 2022 via email informing them that my account had been funded and they said all accounts will be funded on the 31st of january 2022 at the time of writing this it is now the 23rd of february 2022 and my account still hasn't been funded i contacted the fx coach admins many times about this issue but i was ignored when i tried to follow up on our the progress was going even my emails to the support team are now being ignored i am quite sure that i am not the only one who was robbed like this and i wouldn't be surprised if all of us who were in the mentorship were robbed like this i can no longer trust fx code especially their broker i feel sorry for any new traders in the industry that are joining the course and their mentorship things are not going well there below are screenshots that supports my claims made above the confidential information is blurred out he says so the first speck of um evidence that he sends to support his claims is the email that he sent to the team that he was charged on december 2021 then thereafter he sent a proof that the account had been verified and then thereafter he posted the discord announcement on the server that they were going to fund the people who were charged on december 2021 
now i'm gonna zoom in quickly so that i can read what has been said there so it seems like this is a message that's been sent uh, by tapelo and it says every uh, at everyone, greetings FX Goat Mentorship students. I hope everyone had a wonderful first week trading the Forex market with yours truly FX Goat Forex Trading Academy Mentors. Due to our new broker, we haven't fully opened our offices until Monday. However, great news, oh, we're only getting started. A lot is coming this year. We've sent out emails to everyone regarding the December free funded accounts. Please check your emails under spam, junk or promotions. If you've received it, we're reaching out to everyone who previously had deductions on their funds during December 2021. We are going to give each and every one of you a free funded account on our North Star Forex broker for charges deducted unnoticed. So then thereafter, um, he sends the email whereby North Star sent it and North Star said, good morning, thank you for contacting us. We are still working on getting everyone their funded accounts through FX Goat. This is likely to be done on the 31st of January. So then he further sends a conversation with one of the mentors asking about the funded accounts. And then thereafter, he sends um, a screenshot of my account on their broker or of his account on their broker. And then he says it hasn't been funded even though it's weeks past the 31st of January 2022. Going along, he says, keep in mind that the free funded account was a way for them to repay us the $18. That is why I was trying hard to get the funded account because it was meant as a refund. My account was not funded, which means I got scammed $18. I am sure many others were scammed just like me. Now, as you guys can see, this is something that's been coming on since uh, January of 2022 and we are in April now already. So I am sincerely hoping that um, the FX code by now has sorted this out because obviously they are trying to get a broker on the foot and I fully support that we need... Um, we need forex traders that's going to start up entities that has forex traders um, benefits at heart. I sincerely hope that it is sorted by now because um, I wouldn't say this is not a good look on FX God because obviously the response team have been telling people, listen, the 31st of January, we will get you guys sorted out. But the 31st of January came and went and there was no funds in the accounts. Now, like I said, when I prefaced this video, FX God to me seems like a team that likes to take accountability and responsibility for their actions. And obviously, you guys can see that this guy he came prepared because he posted every single speck of evidence that was a relative to his whole story now i sincerely hope that if it isn't sorted that they will get on to sorting this out as soon as possible because this is not the way that you would like to start off a brokerage or any business for that matter with negative complaints i sincerely hope that um there will be a way forward because um like you guys may have noticed i'm taking a different route i'm not taking the route anymore of wanting these mentors crucified because i haven't been scammed and i should at least be impartial to that fact i didn't get scammed so i cannot come here and vocate for them to be crucified i can only come here and vocate for them to do better and to be better because at the end of the day if you that's a service provider gives service to the best of your abilities and it is the best that you can put out then your your business will grow to the extent that you never even thought possible so yeah let's hope that fx code gets this sorted out so that they can keep on growing from strength to strength fx code is one of the biggest groups within the south african forex industry and i sincerely hope like i've been telling them in private i sincerely hope that they can turn this around so that they can continue leading the industry i sincerely hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did please do smash the like button um leave your comments in the comment section do share it around and then also if you're new here please do smash the subscribe button on that note ladies and gentlemen i'll see you guys in the next video cheers